My name is Dr. Haytham Audi. I'm one of the musculoskeletal radiologists at UT Health. Uh, at UT Health, we offer all kinds of uh, musculoskeletal related procedures and injections. One of the things that I do is the spine procedures, including the epidural steroid injections. These are mainly done for um, patients who come with radiculopathy and low back pain related to disc disease and inflammation along the nerves of the, of the spine. Another indication for epidural steroid injection is sciatica or pain radiating to the lower legs, also where the cause is the spine and disc disease. A patient coming with back pain can have different causes of that back pain. The most common cause is uh, radiculopathy and back pain re related to disc disease and the inflammation of the nerve roots along the, along the spine. So we do injections for these nerves. An epidural steroid injection involves injection of steroids into the lower back in the uh, spinal canal and uh, around the nerves. There are two approaches to do the epidural steroid injection, one of which is going centrally in the center of the back and giving it along the dura or the tickle sac. Uh, the other approach is going along the foramen on the sides and it more involves the, the nerve roots and portion of the medication will go into the uh, spinal canal as well. This kind of procedure can be performed under local anesthetic where we can only numb the skin and go to the, to the bony canal and inject the steroids. Or in around one-fifth of the patients, patient would, we can offer moderate sedation, which giving you medication in the IV to make you more relaxed and decrease the pain as much as possible and then make the procedure smoother all along. As all, as all procedures, there is a very minimal risk whenever we use needles. The risk in epidural steroid injection is very, very low and is way less than 1%. So the procedure takes around 30 minutes with the preparation. After we do the injection, you're expected to stay in the hospital for, uh, for around another 30 minutes, after which you need somebody to drive you home after the injection. The over, overall, the injection lasts three to six months, depending on the symptoms and each patient. Uh, a total of three injections per year are usually offered for the spine procedure. The injection involves steroids, which is betamethasone. We, we usually inject around 12 milligrams per level of betamethasone. Uh, the, all, the injection also involves uh, sensor cane, where we inject just a little bit of sensor cane for numbing effects following the procedure and the next day. For patients who present with extraspinal sciatica, where the pain origin is mainly from the sciatic nerves and not from the spine, we do offer injection of the sciatic nerve, and that would be along the pathway of the nerve and not related to the spine at all.